Welcome to the Cryptosphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Monday, October 4th at 2.28 p.m. here in sunny California. And I've got to knock out this video and get to my daughter's school to pick her up by 3.05. So I've got a short amount of time to knock this video out. I've just been pouring over some charts here for the last hour. And some of the stuff I'm discovering is blowing me away. You know, a lot of people... Uh, especially in my last couple of videos where I started uh, taking requests and looking at some of the altcoins, uh, the the projections uh, that uh, the fractal harmonics that I'm finding in these charts provide uh, are out of this world on some of the coins. And, um, you know, some people respond by saying things like, uh, there's no way that coin will go that high because of this, that, and the other. Well, when it comes to technical analysis, I honestly don't care anything about the fundamentals. I mean, yes, the fundamentals are important, um, but the chart, I mean, I either believe in the charts or I don't. I either use the charts as my primary methodology or I don't. And, and from a technical perspective, the fractal harmonics that we find in the chart uh, provides us with targets at least that describe, that, that identify the bandwidth. Ugh. Start again. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Cryptosphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Monday, October 4th at 2.29 p.m. here in sunny California. I've got to miraculously knock this video out, get it out to you, and then get to my daughter's school in 30 minutes to pick her up. But I've been lost in the charts for more than an hour now, and uh, some of the stuff I'm seeing is blowing me away. In today's video, I'm just going to take a quick look at Shiba Inu, simply... Uh, because of the action that's happened in the last couple of days, the last few days in Shiba Inu, to just kind of get a, a feel for where it is and where it's going. I'm also going to be looking at Sia Coin, XCM, and ICX. And, of course, we'll be looking at the Bitcoin, Bitcoin and XRP charts as well. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's jump right in. First of all, we've got this huge green bullish engulfing candle that is not done Yet, we still got 2 hours and 29 minutes and 49 seconds before this candle closes. Where is it going to close? So, I just kind of took a look at this chart and I could see a couple things. One, I saw this cut pattern happening inside of this uh, bullish trend. Uh, we broke both above the bullish trend and above the cup. The break above the cup gives us a target of um, 13.29, which we already broke. Uh, the break above the trend gives us a target of 1961, which we are on the way to do. If we take a look at the RSI here, RSI has poked up above the trend as well, um, which is bullish. However, RSI is also in the over overbought territory. It's overbought, which means it's going to have to correct at some point. It can't keep going up and up and up and up and up. Uh, so what I anticipate is at some point the... Uh, RSI will break back down into this uh, trend here and perhaps come back and find the bottom of this trend before uh, continuing in its upward trajectory. However, that does not mean that this price action is going to break back down into this trend. I mean, it possibly could. It could come back down as far as retesting the, the top of this cup. Or it could honor the top of the trend and bounce off that or it could come down to this line here and uh, retest it at two, uh, 1221. Uh, however it is, my next target is 1961. So that's really all I want to say about Shiba Uno. I mean, what what did we, we you know, <laughs> what happened was e Elon Musk tweeted a picture of his dog. And uh, that made people think that this coin was valuable. So, all right. I mean, yeah, it's possible. I mean, we're not talking about a huge movement here. Like, uh, there's a lot of hype about this, but this is, you know, 56%. Um, if you want to go all the way back down to where we were a few days ago, it's basically doubled in the last few days. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, it could do well. Maybe not. Um, you can kind of tell a little bit of the frustration in my voice. However, that's kind of the way the market is moving right now. Not a lot. It, it's not very exciting for me here looking at Shiba Uno. However, when I look at Sia coin, there's a lot of bandwidth in this coin. I mean, look at this. First of all, I'm seeing a trend inside of a trend. If we honor this line, uh, that gives us a target of about nine and a half cents by the end of the year. If we honor this line, if we come back up and touch it, we're talking about 67 cents basically by the end of the year. Now, um, that sounds outlandish to a lot of people. It's something like Sia coin. You know, this coin is, is pretty ancient in terms of cryptocurrencies. 
uh, that this coin could reach 67 cents by the end of the year. And if we do hit 67 cents by the end of the year, which would be my bullish target, my, my top bullish target, uh, that's basically like 3,800%, 38X basically. I mean, you're talking about just about 40Xing your investment between now and the end of the year. And we're pretty much right at support at this time. We could draw this line just a little bit lower, probably like that. But even still, we're just about at support pretty much. Um, what gives me the audacity to suggest that we could go as high as 38x uh, between now and the end of the year? Well, first of all, you've got this historic trend that the RSI has been in and the price action has been in. And we continue to honor this trend, both the bottom of it and the top of it, and the bottom of it and the top of it, and the bottom of it and the top of it. So I think there's a good chance if we if we just kind of look at the history of the trend that we keep hitting the bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Uh, secondly, look at the consolidation in the RSI. It hasn't broken beneath the bottom of the trend. You know, what would invalidate this is if we broke under the trend and the RSI started going down and the price action started going down. Uh, that would create a completely new trend. But as long as we're in this trend, the possibility or potentiality of us coming back and touching the top of the trend remains intact. So with that being said, I think we could see a 38x SIA coin uh, by the end of this year. Looking at XCM, we're seeing something similar. I don't have to explain this again because I just did. Uh, but basically with XCM, if this actually plays out, uh, the top of this would be even better, like 42F, 43.5X from where we are right now. And, uh, you know, worst case scenario is like 5X from where we are right now. So 5X to 40X, I mean, that's absolutely crazy but once again we got the same type of thing we hit the bottom top bottom top bottom and now there's a good possibility that we're reaching towards the top of this trend again and if we hit the top of this trend again you're talking about a seven dollar xem moving right along uh icx is a little different icx is different because the rsi is much more aggressive and look look i mean just look at this bullish trend that the RSI is in I mean even the even the kind of the kind of low end uh, the kind of low end target for us almost takes us to the top so you're talking about you know 400 percent nine and 850 percent so you know uh, ICX is uh, bullish uh, but not quite as bullish as XEM and see a coin I think it will do well but it's not going to even 10x I don't anticipate between now and the end of the year even if we take a look at this fractal and, and consider the harmonics, uh, probably $10 to $20 is the range that, that ICX is going to find itself in between now and the end of the year. Let's jump over and take a... Ooh, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's jump over and take a look at Bitcoin. As you know, my prediction for the end of the year is 170 to 325,000. Uh, once again, based on the same concept bottom top bot you know bottom top bottom top bottom top we still got to hit the top of this trend however we could see kind of a trend within a trend what if we just honor this trend if we just honor this trend then by there we go january 1st no that's 23 this is january 1st if we honor this trend here then by january 1st 120 131,000 all right so 131 uh i think we're on on i think we're on track to break this trend easily honestly this kind of uh micro trend within this macro trend i think we're going to get close somewhere in between that's why i said 170,000 uh but we will see looking at a shorter term uh time frame for B bitcoin uh, we've broken bullish out of this trend, and uh, our target is between fifty-five and fifty-six thousand dollars. And once again, the uh, RSI continues to move upward in this trend. Uh, we've just strongly broken out. I mean, if you look at look at the MACDs, the MACDs are just reaching for heaven. 
The RSI is reaching upward on the daily and the price action is reaching up. So everything's moving in the same direction. And even on this weekly chart, looking at the 21 day EMA, we are strongly above the 21 day EMA. And look at this, the RSI, just keep watching this RSI here to see when it is, if it is that we break out of this trend. If we get rejected here in this trend, that's another thing. But if we break out of this trend, that is going to be strongly bullish for Bitcoin, both in the short term and in the midterm. And so let's keep watching it. Now, of course, going over to this XRP chart, uh, we've got bullish MACDs on the daily. We've got bullish RSI broken out on the daily. However, to invalidate this trend, we've got to make a higher high in the RSI. So we've got to break above this line here in the RSI to make a higher high. Uh, however, we do see another trend that is already beginning to present itself here. And so, uh, yeah, if we stay in this trend, this is definitely a strongly bullish trend for XRP. So yeah, if we stay in this trend, this is looking good for XRP on the daily. Um, so what could easily happen is we come down, we bounce off either this line or the bottom, which would correspond to a bounce on this line here. I think there's a good chance that we come down to $96 and this four hour chart explains why. Because uh, on the four hour, we're seeing more of a, a bearish trend in the RSI. Whoops. We're seeing a little bit more of a bearish trend in the RSI here on the four hour. And so, um, sorry. The MACDs have broken down. There's a little bit of a bearish divergence that we saw here starting over here from October 1st going up on, on this short term pattern. And now we're getting uh, diminished returns in the RSI. I think there's a good chance the RSI breaks under the bottom of this. And if that's the case, then we're going to break down uh, out of this trend here in a bearish direction. But we should bounce at 96 cents. And if we get a good bounce at 96 cents here, we can take off towards this target of 138. So we're bullish on the daily, but bearish on the four hour. It simply means that we're looking for a very short term breakdown before a broader long term break out. And that is still very good news for XRP. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today. I got so much more to share with you, and I'm going to start sharing some other things with you in the days to come. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this content today, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, drop me a line to let me know uh, that you're watching and let me know what you think. Uh, some of you have shared that you don't agree with me, and that's totally fine. I, I respect your opinion. I just appreciate you watching the video and uh, appreciate all the love. Uh, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just sharing my opinions. And uh, with all of that being said, make it your aim to sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, and walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out. Mm -hmm.